Am I a bad person for asking my friend for a piece of chocolate? Really no, but that's going to be way more complicated that, than that. Hi, 34 female. I'm the manager of a small retail store. Today my, is my day off, but I went into the store to make sure everything was set to run smoothly. As we have two new IREs. You are working a little too much. Honestly, if you are the manager of a small retail store and you move yourself up on days where you're off just to make sure everything runs smoothly. Try to think about like what you prioritize in life because there's a lot of other things you could have done to just take care of yourself instead. But the fact that you're clearly brown nosing here, we'll keep on reading. When I got there, my friend slash employee Kate was in the back showing the other workers some chocolate she got from her boyfriend. There were apparently some fancy gourmet dark chocolate truffles in a little box and she was showing off the last one. She said she'd eaten the others since they would come in last Friday. Okay. Uh, late second Valentine's. Second Valentine's Day gift? What is a second Valentine's Day gift? I meant and meant to eat the last one last night, but I'd forgotten. Here's where's the issue arise. I asked Kate if I could try it. Honestly, if you're just showing up food and being like, this is the best food ever to your friend and you, you're not expecting them to try it. It's kind of weird. Uh, she looked surprised by the question and took a minute before she answered it. She told me I could buy some on the website and that she had the little pamphlet that came in with the box showing all the flavors available. Oh, she asked if I'd like it. I told her yes, but I, but that I'd like to try the chocolate to see if it's any good. She said her boyfriend got them for her and she didn't think it would be right to give her gift to someone else. Oh, poor kid. Try to like, imagine putting so much value into a little piece of chocolate. How old is she? 21. That sounds super immature. I'm really sorry. That, that sounds, it's like, ah. It's like trying to say that you really, really love something because like your whole, your, your dead grandma gave it to you and you're like, that's my last one and I don't want to give it to anyone. Like it's, ah. Oh. So after a couple of, um, I laughed and told her in the light art tone that if she wants to be stingy, she can just say that. I mean, there's that. A couple of the other laughed, but I guess Kate didn't find it funny. She just stood there and didn't say anything, which is really unlike her. She's very talkative and bubbly. She ended up closing the box of chocolate and said something about forgetting to do something and left the room. I ended up having the building, leaving the building about 20 minutes later. And then another hour later, I got a text from my assistant manager, Marla, saying Kate asked to leave early because she didn't feel well. I approved through my DM for a man. This person is not 21 emotionally like. Oh, okay. I approved through my DM for her to leave since we were staffed well enough for what would probably be a slow day. And I asked her to pass along to Kate that if she lead leave, I would like for her to make up for those hours at some point in the next week. Otherwise, she's good to go. I tried asking Marla what was wrong, but all she knew to tell me was that Kate wasn't feeling well. All she said, she purposely, pur she proposed. It could have something to do with me, what I said earlier, though, as she would. Here's the problem, though. You're the manager. What you're saying, here's the thing, okay? When you're the manager of, like, younger person or anyone, your word have power, your intention, and what you're sending to them, like, the vibe you're sending has a lot of power on them. You sound like you are very friendly with your worker, which fine for you, but there is a very high placed uh, principle in my, my, my school board, which basically like taught me something. Principles will be your friend as long as they can, because like it's way easier to motivate a friend to do something than not. But if they have to turn their back on you, they will without even doubting, without even like failing to do so. They are your friend because it's easier to make some information pass, but they still your boss. They are still the people above you. 
So when you think your job is safe because you think you're friend with the boss, the boss is still the boss. And if he has to insert to anyone above him, uh, being a friend with him won't save your job. It won't save you. It can help. It won't save it if shit has to hit the fan. If you like, for some reason, insult the people over you. Let's go. Um, she proposed it could have some, something to do with what I said earlier, though. As she would allegedly been quiet since then. Ooh, ooh, she really took it that. Now I'm just wondering, am I the asshole or an asshole at all? He said, like, you might be a little too friendly. That may be the problem, actually. Autocorrect attacked when I wrote my response to the bot. It should read, I may be. Okay. Um, at the beginning. Also, just to clarify, I was only asking for part of the truffle, not the whole thing. I only wanted an able. But like, no. In there. Okay. You are still the boss. This is really the part that I feel is missed here. What you say, what you say can make, can do or undo our job. You... You really have power over that person. Asking for food from that person, I, I refuse. Like, out of very, very, very rare exception, when the parents send me a gift, like for Christmas, I outright refuse any time when a, 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 one of my students try to, like, give me any kind of food. Just because I don't want them to feel like I'm too friendly with them. I am friendly, but... I don't want them to think that they can, like, buy their way or that I am, um, what's the word? That I, that I can, like, get, get bought by anything like this. And being a boss and asking for someone that is under you to give you food, I'm not sure it's okay. Like, I know. You know the argument that she gives, like, that, that Kate is giving. Make her sound very prissy. Make her, make her sound like she put a little too much emotion and emotionally she's not stable enough to basically adult but in other ways you have power over her she cannot really refuse something to you without a good reason um that's scary for someone like her and then then you call her stingy so you're the asshole you're the asshole by your position of power that you do not take into consideration high enough to be professional around that. She, she's she's immature. She's emotionally very immature for someone that is supposed to be 21 years old. But you are not a boss. You're probably someone that got promoted to manager because you spent more time in that re small retail store than e anybody else. And you never really developed your managing skill. You're just making schedules. You know what I mean? Like... That's our point here. Everybody, like, there's going to be so many people that are going to call her the asshole. No freaking doubt. No freaking doubt. But, like, let's go check. Uh, people really go hard onto her. But I feel like the reason why they say that is really not good. Okay. So. Uh, people are arguing that she's the asshole because the chocolate wasn't for her. I don't think that's the reason why she's the asshole. She, you can hear in what Opie says that she feels that her employees are her friends. And she does not take into consideration all the rest around it. Like, from the moment you accept that role of a manager, they are dependent upon your decision. So, I have a hard time here. You try to use your position over to over her to shame her and to force her into... No, she didn't try to do that. But, she, like, there's, there's an argument to be made that it was that. So, even if it's not the case, like... It's very much a gray area. It's very risky HR-wise. So yeah, don't do this if you're a boss. Really don't do this if you are a boss. From the moment you get power over someone else under you, that friendship relationship that you think you got 
is put in geo party it's some re it's by the way it's a good reason why a lot of teachers do not want to become principal like they do even less in their own school because like the relationship they used to have with their uh colleague will change no matter what it's a thing